What's up dudes, Church back with another one. Today I'm about to go ride the M Super Pro in the snow with just the CST Navi tire on it. Now for, I used to ride with this tire in the snow right here. This is a, uh, it's a dirt bike tire. This is the best one for the snow for sure. I just don't have it on any wheel right now. You can see I've, I've even made a, um, tried to make a uh, spike tire. This is great for, you know how the, the trails get iced up in the winter time? If you have an old tire, don't throw it away. You can literally just turn it into a studded tire. Just put some studs through it and then put some like uh, for that two, uh, two protector on the on the back side of the tire. You can revamp an old tire to make it a studded one. You don't need many studs in it, honestly, to get a, a lot of traction on the ice. And uh, these are the best for the snow for sure because you don't want a knobby tire that's this extreme for just mud because what will happen is it'll cake mud all up in the shell of the unicycle and it'll actually stop it from rolling because it has such aggressive knobs it'll put too much mud in it but with snow like powder snow um it won't get caked up in there all the friction will just pull the snow back out and this is i mean this literally works like a like a snow machine but i'm gonna try just the cst tire and see if that works i might try the um i've never tried the shinko in the snow either i might try that one out as well in a minute the M10 did good in the snow. You see it's really muddy right now. I need to wash it off, but it still works from yesterday riding it out in the snow. I just need to put a new power pad on it, or reattach the power pad to the side, and then it'd be good to go. I'm going to take that one back out in a little bit, but let's go ride this one. All right, let's see how it should work in the snow. I think this is my first time on this one. I haven't waterproofed this wheel or anything, guys, so I'm risking it. But if you ride these things in the snow, you are risking it, dudes. But it's a lot of fun. And um, whatever you fit or break on it, you can usually fix. So hope it works out. Let's go. <laughs> so I'm out here on the old M Super Pro with the CST Navi tire. This is not a really aggressive Navi tire. This is just the typical one that a lot of people have on their electric unicycles. And I haven't really done much snow riding with this tire in particular. Uh, the only other tire I had um, this, or only other unicycle I had this tire on was the Sherman, which the Sherman came with this tire. And I really like the way the Sherman felt riding it off-road with this tire, so I bought another one. And this, this tire is really good for the snow. It's, it's definitely, I can't ride the trails near as fast as I could with that really, really knobby, aggressive tire, guys. If I had that knobby aggressive tire on it, man, you can really go full speed on the trails almost faster than if there was no snow on it. If it's the right kind of snow, the right packed powder, and you put that dirt bike tire on it that I showed you a minute ago, dude, you can get insane traction because it just grips like in the corners even better than a unicycle normally does. I and mean, then you can ride it wildly. I got a video back about a year ago. Uh, from where I was riding that, that thing with the dirt bike tire and it was insane guys so much fun But I'll put it on there and eventually uh, uh, Get some fresh riding in with the dirt bike tire on there But if you wanted to be able to see if you could ride an electric unicycle with just that little CST tire um, Just a you know a basic little kind of dual sport tire uh, you can do it You definitely can and it just comes down to the fact of the way these EUCs work um, all your your center of gravity guys is on one point it's not spread out like it is with a car or you know like a electric skateboard or anything like that you really can't ride um i mean in snow and stuff like that this thing works great just because all your weight's on one point and you add a little bit of tread to it and Working it just good. cruises it works easily better whenever there's not already footprints on the path and you can just go it honestly these unicycles work way, way better in fresh powder because the footprints, whenever they're packed down, it makes you shift around because it's kind of uneven. The reason these work so good in the snow is because all your your all your gravity, all your weight is in one point, so you get great traction. It's not like in a car where all your traction is spread out over four points, or on a bike where it's spread out over two points. Here it's on one point, and you don't really need that much tread, guys. You can you can ride in snow on bald tires on these things. It, it would amaze you. So this is just the normal CST tire that everybody traditionally has on these wheels. And you can see you can ride it in snow. 
Um, you just got to take it easy and get used to it at first, but once you get used to it, it's no big deal. And I have been doing this for years and haven't had a problem with the water, guys. I just leave it sitting straight upright, like I said, when I get home, I let it dry out. Like the other one I rode yesterday, I'm not riding it now because I'm letting it dry out. But it should be fine. And now, when it comes to waterproofing these things, guys, it's really easy to do. On this particular one right here, I haven't done any waterproofing at all, though. So, it just shows that I am willing to risk it, guys. I Basically, the way you want to do this is if it's really cold outside and, and the snow is not melting a lot. Like, it's like 20 degrees outside when I'm riding right here. And if it was, say, like 40 degrees, the snow is melting, you would really want to limit the amount of time you were out riding in those conditions because it's going to be really wet and it's just you know if it's falling over you're riding it a lot it's just ba bound to get water in it eventually but if it's cold outside it's fresh powder like this you only go out for about you know an hour 30 minutes to an hour or so keep it short come back in and just let the thing sit there and let it sit and let all the snow melt off of it let it sit for two days you know if and if it's your only wheel to ride then maybe don't do this you know, but if you got two or three wheels, come back, let it sit for two or three days, and then it'll be completely dry. Literally, where I live, it's in Colorado, it's always really dry weather. That really helps as well. But you let it sit for two or three days, it will dry out completely. There won't be a drop of water left in the thing, guys. But if you want to waterproof it, uh, I did a video a while back. Go just go to my channel and go just go to the top page or, or the top of the channel where you can search the channel. And just type in waterproof and you'll see me waterproof and exn on there and what you're going to need guys all you need is some clear silicone that you put in one of those like caulking gums and then you need a um you need a little bit of marine grease guys and marine grease is so cheap you can get a massive tube of it it's the stuff you put in like um boat uh boat trailer barrels but that stuff you get a ton of it that beautiful it's like an awesome it's like a scene out of a dead gum winter time book look at that the filming of a christmas movie with choo choo tech look at it what's up buddy <laughs> So you get a ton of that marine grease for a, a cheap price guys and what you can do is just use like a flathead screwdriver or like a little uh, spatula or like a popsicle stick or something and you don't have to necessarily put that stuff like in a grease gun you can literally just use it um and, and just take out like you can put it on your finger with uh some like latex gloves on it. just put a little bit on your finger and then what you can do is go to all the points on your wheel that may have water ingressed in there and put marine grease on it guys put a little bit of marine grease over it on all the places that you don't want a silicone now the place where you got a silicone is around the motor hub guys you know that the big motor hub that seats against the actual rim literally just one little bead of clear silicone around that seals it completely i mean just think about it it really does it, it seals that whole motor hub completely and then you put marine grease around your bearings and uh, you can pop the bearing seal off on the new like rs's and stuff the bearings are those big or uh, bearings that you easily can get to and just fill the entire bearing up with marine grease guys it's not going to hurt anything it's literally it, it only helps it it's going to protect it from water from rain from salt from snow everything like that i did that to my original exn bearing guys the one that had all the bearing problems the very first exn i completely did that insane i went overboard with it with the marine grease guys but i went and rode that wheel through mud and i rode it purposely through creeks and uh snow and just slushy like the reason i did that is it was literally mud season when i got that wheel and mud season's like may up here in colorado when all the snow is melting and it's just just literally mud everywhere and so I did all that treatment to it before I went to go ride it during mud season because I knew I would be out in a ton of, of just terrible conditions. So that's what I did. And the EXN is the only wheel that I've really so gone overboard fun. to waterproof like no this other. Total um, all the other wheels, guys, I just leave them stock and ride them like this in the snow. And, you know, if something goes wrong, if I got to fix a bearing or anything like that, which I, 
haven't had to do in any of them but if i had to hey i like working on them you know i don't i don't really mind it it literally takes like an hour of the day i can go out there put on some music flip the thing up on the workbench pop a bearing out of it if i need to i can do you know i can work on these things i've, I've learned how to do that over the years and i do not mind it i have plenty of fun on it for the you know for the limited amount of work you have to do on it this Coming from the background of motorcycles, guys, you really don't have to do much maintenance on these things, even snow riding it and stuff. And and I haven't, I've been doing this since 2015, guys, riding it in snow. If you go back on my channel, you can see me riding the 9Bot 1E Plus all through Denver um, in snow just like this. And I've never, I've seriously have never, ever had a problem with the water in these unicycles. But it's just, I, I use common sense about it. You know, I don't totally just sit like ride it out in the snow like this and then come like leave it laying down sideways in the garage where all the water is just going to pool up and like roast a battery cell or something like that you got to be you know sensical about it or i don't go ride it through a bunch of slush you know like you ride it in slush it's going to be a little bit different than riding it in powder so but anyways dudes I had a blast on it. I literally just got too cold out there. The next video is great, guys. I literally went over here to the boat ramp and treated the boat ramp like a ski slope. And I'm going to put that in the next video because this one's getting too long. But I literally was making the boat ramp into a ski slope, seeing how much I could, like, drift sideways and back the other way and pushing it to break traction, like, swerving back and forth. But it's a fun video. I'll have that one coming up next. I'll see you dudes in the next one.